Hello everyone, welcome again to English for Citizenship, brought to you by the Springvale Learning and Activities Centre. Let's find our lesson for today. This is about Australia Day. Australia Day. Australia Day is on the 26th of January every year. In Australia, it's a holiday, the 26th of January. It is Australia Day. Do you know why we celebrate Australia Day? Australia Day celebrates the anniversary of the arrival of the first fleet from Great Britain in 1788 to set up a convict settlement for the British government. Now that was a long sentence. Let's break it down a little bit. Here is a picture of the first fleet. Remember the group of 11 ships that sailed from Great Britain, they arrived in 1788 on the 26th of January. January is the month in 1788. They arrived in Sydney to set up a convict settlement. Convict is another word for prisoners, a place for them to live. Here is a painting of the first fleet arrival. Let's read this sentence. The first fleet arrived on the 26th of January, 1788. Here is a painting of the people who were on the first fleet arriving in Sydney. That is the day we celebrate Australia Day on the 26th of January every year. How did you go? So just remember Australia Day is the 26th of January every year. All right, here are some things about Australia Day that you need to remember for your test. On the eve of Australia Day, eve means the day before. The day before. On the eve of Australia Day, the Prime Minister announces or tells us the Australian of the Year Awards in Canberra. Australian of the Year Awards is an award some people receive. The Prime Minister tells us who receives the award and he does it in Canberra. Canberra, remember, is Australia's capital city. <coughs> Canberra, this is what you have to remember. Canberra, where the Prime Minister announces the awards on the eve of Australia Day. Okay, Australia Day is also a day when people can rejoice, be happy, in the present and commit to a happy and prosperous future together. There's some hard words in there, <clears throat> but it's a day when people can be happy about living in Australia, commit themselves 
to Australian laws and look forward to the future, what is up ahead. Okay, and also on Australia Day, many citizenship ceremonies are held across Australia. Here is a picture of some people who have become Australian citizens like you one day. They have a ceremony on Australia Day and that's when people can become citizens on Australia Day. <clears throat> okay, remember Australia Day is the 26th of January every year. It's a holiday and it celebrates the arrival of the first fleet on the 26th of January, 1788. How did you go? <clears throat> so when you go to a citizenship ceremony like these people, you take a pledge. See this word? Pledge. Pledge. That is something that you say out loud that you promise <clears throat> to do. Let's read this. When you attend your citizenship ceremony, you will make the Australian citizenship pledge. This means you will say it out loud with other people who have chosen to become Australian citizens. When you say the pledge you are making a commitment to Australia and accepting the responsibilities and privileges of citizenship. So it's like a promise that you make. Here it is. This is the pledge you will make. And this is what you say out loud when you become a citizen. From this time forward, under God, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people whose democratic beliefs I share whose rights and liberties I respect and whose laws I will uphold and obey. That is the pledge that you make at your citizenship ceremony. <clears throat> okay, let's do some practice test questions about Australia Day and the things can happen around Australia on Australia Day and why we have Australia Day. See if you can remember. <laughs> Number one, Australia Day celebrates what? A, the arrival of the first fleet from Great Britain in 1788 to Australia or the sacrifice of Australian soldiers or the anniversary of the Australian flag. Which one? Which one does Australia Day celebrate? Did you get it? The arrival of the first fleet from Great Britain in 1788 to Australia. That is what Australia Day celebrates. <clears throat> Number two. Which is the date when citizenship ceremonies are held across the nation? When, which is the date means when. When are citizenship ceremonies held? When do they happen? Is it Boxing Day, Australia Day or Alice Springs Show Day? Which one? When are 
citizenship ceremonies held. Australia Day, of course, Australia Day. <clears throat> Number three, on which day do the people of Australia make a commitment of future prosperity and happiness? This is meaning at your citizenship ceremony. You commit to Australia for a happy happiness, happy to live here. On which day do we celebrate those things and make a commitment to those things? Is it Ascension Day, Eight Hours Day, Australia Day, or Anzac Day? Did you work it out? Australia Day. <clears throat> Last one, number four. From where does the Prime Minister announce, remember that means tell us, the Australian of the Year on the eve of Australia Day? Remember, on the eve the day before Australia Day, the Prime Minister announces or tells us the Australian of the Year Awards from which city? So this question is asking you from where? Where is the Prime Minister when he tells us? Is he in Sydney? Is he in Melbourne? Is he in Canberra or is he in Perth? Did you remember it was Canberra? Canberra, the capital city where the Prime Minister announces the Australian of the Year on the eve of Australia Day. I hope you did okay with that. Remembering about Australia Day. Australia Day. Thank you for listening. I will see you next time. Goodbye.